I have a false says, question. There's a thread on the forums about we don't have the tech, and I was wondering how you're tracking this problem. Do you upgrade tech, or is it a matter of manpower? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you follow that thread, it's um, explained pretty well, I think, but we don't have the tech as maybe internal jargon that doesn't make sense to players. Um, there are things we can do, like, uh, that don't require any coding work or any actual um, engineering changes, like making a power do three damage instead of two damage is not a change in code, it's not a change in tech. We have the ability to change that on the fly willy-nilly whenever we want. Um, but making, uh, you know, a certain, like one of the examples was, uh, like right now you go to a vendor and gear is in a box and you can't see if you have the style that is attached to it because in a box, we don't have a way to show you if you have the style of the thing in the box because the box doesn't know about the things that are in the box, uh, if that makes sense. So um, that would take new code to be able to move that information from one place to another and display that to you. And then obviously how that works and displays on the screen, the UI portion of it. Um, that's essentially the tech, we, like we'd have to get new tech. We'd have to actually spend time coding that instead of something else um, to make that work. We don't have that functionality. When we're saying that it's usually not related to hardware or uh, performance really in any way, um, that's that's usually something we would call a a performance limitation, which is like, why don't you have 4K amazing graphics on your PS3? It's like, well, because there is hardware constraints. So that's kind of a separate thing from what we've been talking about there. I mean, all games, also to follow up on the final part of that question, you said, um, what do you see being a way around all the limitations the game has in the future since it's quite a lot, to be honest? I mean, every game has limitations and every game of a certain era kind of deals with the same limitation. Um, and it's not actually uh, limitations in what we can do, it's limitations on the time and resources we have to do it, right? So we have so many people working so many hours a day, so many days a week. Um, if we had five times as many people, we would be able to do more stuff. Um, and that completes completely to you know, we have to pay the bills at the end of the day. So the more successful the game is, the more people we have to do the work. Inner Beast says, maps, no respect intended, no disrespect intended. You know, questions like that always end good, so it's gonna be interesting. Um, instead of logging onto the game to spawn Watchtower ads, can you actually run content with players and especially spectate PvP scrimmages so you guys can actually see the issues of the game? A lot of us are under the impression that you guys are oblivious to everything that's broken because it's been here for so long. Uh, it's been there for so long because we need time to fix it and there's more important things. If it hasn't been fixed, it means we think something else is more important, like point blank. Um, also, the district might not have been intended, but it was obviously uh, meant um, if you think that we don't play the game or log into the game. I don't log into the game on my public character to play the game because I get about 100 tells a second a minute, um, and it's super frustrating for me to not be able to respond to those players and for those players who eventually start cursing me out because I'm not responding to them. So um, it's too bad you haven't played with me. I play with a lot of players on live. Um, sometimes I invite players to come play with me, actually. Um, that's cool. Uh, usually it's, it's uh, anonymous so that I can just be a player observing the game. And all of the team, literally all the team plays the game. Um, today we had a playtest on live in which literally the entire studio was playing the Star Event. Um, just one example. Most of us also play in our free time, um, even on the weekends and stuff, quite a bit. So um, if you want to bring the you don't play the game uh, question again, try it in a different way, I guess. It's pretty stupid. Crime CCO says, are we going to get a new Boo this Halloween or get a Boo family pack for our base as pets? Can't, can't leak any Halloween stuff. I'm going to note it as a request that you want more booze. Actually, if you have booze suggestions, that'd be cool. Pro Snips 346 says, is there going to be an increase with power points, all powers unlocked after level 30 for players who can make a let up for both roles? Actually, in the stats revamp, there are no more power points. You just get all of the abilities in your power. Jero says, care to spoil what new pet we get in the next seasonal? 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let that get on. It's green. Protector says, "Are we going to get Green Lantern like Aura, one that's so that's not so diffuse as the normal auras, but more like the? Uh, that's literally what the misted auras are. Um, those are the ones ripped off of the NPCs and put onto players. So, you you." Sally Coco says, would it be possible to have an on-duty window tab that shows what content were loot locked from all of our tunes? So you can like, oh, who hasn't, which of my tunes hasn't run this piece of content? I can see how that'd be valuable. It also sounds pretty complicated. Just that could be a huge list of things, but let me note that. Montesano says, I would love to see more love for long-term membership. Yeah, um, some of our other games at Daybreak do that. Like if you've been subscribed for so many months in a row, you get better benefits. Or if you've been subscribed for so many years, you get access to different things. We have trouble there because of our console partnership. Um, the information we have about you is a little bit limited in some ways, which I'm not going to get into. But basically, we we don't know how long you've been a member, how long you've, you've been um, subscribed like at an individual level like we can't look at your your account montesano and say oh this person's been subscribed for nine months we we don't have that information semper fear says if not a new weapon how about new styles for weapons yeah again um we we do like to do those um i don't have any immediate plans to announce but if you have suggestions I think we have another list from a few weeks ago on that, but always happy to add to it. Two questions this time. Who is faster, The Flash, Superman, or Batman? Two, what's your favorite animated DC movie? Um, I mean, one is probably a comic nerd debate, although not with Batman in it. Batman is not fast. Um, two, what's your favorite animated DC My favorite anime DC is the old school Fleischer Superman card. It's not exactly a movie, but that's what I'm going to go with. ISIF suggests a regen or cooldown buff that can be initiated by the controller role. So the controller can make regen stronger or cooldowns lesser. Is that kind of interesting? One of the cool things is that once we have the stats ramp out, we you know want to make new abilities for for power sets and stuff like that. So um, we're open night. Crime CCO says one small complaint: Can you guys reduce collection costs because 100 marks or 200 is way too much? Most of it should be is like 20 other pets. 20 other end pets should be at least 30 marks. Sorry, just to explore it. Collection costs, you mean like in the event? Or or something specific? Will we ever see the Jack Ryder in his creeper persona? I mean, I think it's possible if that's a comic book character. Is that a comic book character? I got It is a character. Uh, I mean, I think it's possible. DST DNT says, maps for the new team up time capsules, would it be possible to have them use all three color slots? For example, to have the circle on Flash or Commander Steel's emblem be a separate color from the bolt or star. Hope you have a great day in the weekend. Um, I, can, I can follow up on that. I feel like it does, though. I feel like there are three slots, but 
I am second guessing myself. Like one's the outline, one's the inside, and one's the thing, maybe. But I made a note of it to, to follow. Telly Coco says, "Have you removed the dog and gorilla from Nature's Power Set because you intend on creating a shapeshifter power?" No, uh, we just removed them to simplify nature because it was a little crazy, and I don't think we removed gorilla. Did we? Did I come back. Um, and, and dog, we definitely want to return, but uh, it was. Pro Snips 346 says, where's water power? Water powers are coming after the stats. Are... Light FX says, will we ever be able to use materials on emblems? It's a good question. I don't have an update on that. Jelly says, since new stuff has a cap of 999 for materials, uh, will this soon be applied to old stuff like exploit simple space items? And, and that is something we are discussing, um, but we don't have anything to share right now. We know that people have requested some of those things uh, for a long time, and we think we can change some of them and it won't cause problems, but there may be complications with other things, so we're kind of just figuring it's possible. Uh, it's not promised at this time. Jared says, I love the R&D crafting OP items in the star event. Do you think we go back and do this for old OP items? Uh, we talked about going back and making rewards similar throughout the entire game. I'm not sure we would change OP items at this point, since they are uh, pretty special. Um, it might, the drop tones might just stay, stay drops, that kind of thing. Um, but that will definitely be considered uh, if we get to uh, redoing the rewards, uh, updating the rewards for the whole game. LQDCO asks if I found out who the voice actor for Aquaman was, and actually I have not done that yet, so um, I will make note of it again. Thor94 says, hey guys, two quick questions. When will styles become a shared feature with our other characters? Also, what plans the future? Oh, you already asked that and I answered it earlier. No need to spam, am I behind? Oh, I am. I'm like 15 minutes behind. Okay, I'm going to turn the slow mode back on so we can. Charm says, what about the loss of purification and divine light? How do you feel about power cost for healing? Uh, I didn't have any trouble with power cost myself. Um, uh, you know, that's that's me. I can definitely understand where some people are concerned about that. Um, I felt like, especially when I had a controller around, I could be pumping out more heals. I just wish they would do more, a little bit more, especially my consume soul, my baby. Um, Spore just laughs at me, by the way, whenever I uh, suggest that Wrath of the Presence should be the most powerful ability in the game. But I still do it every day just for fun. Um, I didn't notice really anything with the loss of purification and divine light. I didn't, didn't really care. Uh, I think Sport has talked about that, where the, the actual effect of purification was moved into the cost itself, or into the powers itself, so you didn't need it anymore. And I personally didn't notice. Although divine light is not necessarily my go-to ability either. Lots of different ways to play. Seven Sins asks, me like many of my league friends that I know are semi-decent in terms of modeling and animation, are we allowed to create any content at all from the community, even if it's just something small, and upload them into the forums so it has a chance to enter the game in some sort of way? We are not set up with the um, Player Studio program that you're referring to that other Daybreak games have. Um, it's a little bit more complicated because we are a licensed game as opposed to a game that's our own IP, which basically means there's just a lot more levels of review and that kind of thing with, with external partners. Uh, I also, um, the the way our styles are built is is pretty complicated in the game, actually a lot more complicated than some of our sister games. Um, so we don't have plans to do any sort of player studio right now, even though it sounds like really cool. Seven 
Silent says, can we get a John Constantine episode? Anything's possible. Laura Belt says, can we set up a day of the week to test the revamp with the devs? I think that would be really helpful, especially testing a uh, yeah, we've been actually talking about doing some dev play tests. Maybe not like day of the week exactly, but once we're through all the power sets and into the polish phase, I think we might uh, we might arrange some events like that so people can come play with developers and developers with players and, and talk. It's a great idea. Semper Fear says, can opening time capsules count toward gather feet if you get by? I don't think so. I think I'm going to stay away from that one. Any day suggests a Kamandi episode. I don't know what that is. I'm Google. Ah. I mean, this is pretty far off the beaten path, but hey. Famgrel says, how about making a weapons vendor for weapon styles that are hard, that are rare to get? I'm going to note that down. It's a cool idea. Crime CCO says, can we expect some awesome things during the release of Wonder Woman and Justice League, like posters and shirt pack? That would be amazing. Maybe, but probably not like we did for BVS. We're still figuring out exactly what we want to do there, especially for Justice League. Ferdinand says, any powerless tie-in? Uh, no. We are, oh yeah, everybody's super powered over here in DCO. It's a good question. Theridius would like more AE attacks for the bow and some iconic powers added, like those that the green arrow has. I mean, we're not really revamping the weapons as far as like the functionality, what they do right now, but it's a request I can note. Okay, DC really wants a fog base item. Noted. I think we've noted that before, actually. Black Dawn wants a grandma or pa boo, a Mr. Boo. Wait. Oh, you want base items of the boos? Sally Coco says, I still think a ghost skin to make players glowy and translucent would be good for Halloween. It's a cool idea. Transparency is something that can have a pretty big performance hit, uh, so have to be careful with it, but it'd be, that does sound really cool. Okay, here we go. Daughter Boo, Princess Boo, Dog Boo, Fish Boo, Cat Boo, Squirrel Boo. Slightly older Sister Boo, really? That's what you got blacked on? Slightly older Sister Boo? Okay. You want what you want, you know? Can't judge. CR on the loading screen is something we've had to request it before. Blazing Bacon. Um, let me know. Riverfall would like more streams with Q&As. Yeah, yeah, they're fun. Warpack says, more inventory space. It's outdated, even when maxed out. Hard to keep four armor sets and all the crafting stuff required for such a small bank in inventory. Yep, that's noted. That's definitely on the list of things that we're looking at doing uh, that we think would be cool, that we necessarily are, but we've seen the request. 
Um, although to be said, uh, exploring like stack sizes and stuff uh, might alleviate that issue as well. Crimes UCO says, suggestion for the Christmas base pet. We fight Larflees, why not put Clomulus as a pet? And oh, I know people want Larflees back style, like a little lantern popping out. Love it. If you are curious, well. Nightcrawler says, any plans to do the other DC TV emblems, such as Wild Dog, Reverse Flash, Supergirl, etc.? Nothing I can share, but um, we like emblems. Nexies says, could we get an Indigo Tribe Staff? That would be cool. Do we not have that from when we did the uh, part, was it part three, part two? I like that suggestion. Kanini says, Maps, why does support fail to ban speed hackers have been on the game for six months? Uh, support ban speed hackers all. Maverick Raven says, I'd like to say something about the OP items one. Maybe you guys should consider including the ability to upgrade the OP items to make them more relevant. Oh, like. Yeah, you got one at one point, you can do something to continue to make it awesome as you level. It's pretty cool. Uh, two, could you guys please make some OP weapons, pants, etc. cetera, slots that haven't been made yet? Um, I'm not sure about weapon. That seems potentially like if it was really good, that would be big for weapon players. That might be a little bit problematic. But yeah, I think there's a case we made for spreading the love around. I'll note that. TSC DNT. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna follow up on that. Famgrel says, possibly could we get also get plans to transmute exploits back into exo bits, and also could we get a weapon style vendor for weapon styles that are rare to get, kind of like the Z. Uh, just noted the weapon style vendor request from earlier, just a minute ago. Uh, transmute exobytes back into exo bits. You mean like when you, I guess you can put them in gear and pull them back out again with a recovery kit, but I see what you mean. Yeah. Semper Fear says, can we get the surviving the hack feet? Many will never get this. Many will never get that. You had to be here for that one. Ooh, Bat Boo, Super Boo, and Wonder Boo. That's amazing. Gotta add that. Not sure we'd be allowed to do that. That might be a little bit too far, but it's not. Tweety says, will there ever be duo elites? Oh, like challenge modes for duos and stuff? That's actually an idea we've been talking about. Um, generally, we like the direction we're headed as far as having more accessible content, the regular version, and then having an elite version that will stomp your face. And there are people who don't always want to play eight man. So it's uh, it's definitely a concept we, we may consider. Definitely not for the next episode or in our immediate plans, but it, we've seen the suggestion. More More than 32 character slots noted and noted.
Belzar says, on the quick lime canisters in my inventory, when I sell my excess items, it says I can get spores for them. Is this intended or is it just a visual error? That is a visual error. You're not supposed to get spores. Uh, we've actually put a Band-Aid fix on that internally with this and actually a kind of a certain class of items that are all showing that you get like marks or something back when you're not supposed to. You won't be able to sell those items in the future. So sell them now. as in to a vendor for uh, cash. You could, no, nothing else will change. LQDCO says, will we ever see more Brainiac themed base items like Brainiac tech computers or electric fields? Uh, you could, I feel like we're kind of brainiac out, but if you have requests, you know, let me know. Uh, people, let me know with thumbs ups or thumbs downs if you would like more Brainiac base items or not. Revafall says, can we get a feature to be able to return unequipped vendor gear? I bought the wrong mods so many times that my marks are lost forever. It's something I didn't need. I'm going to note that down. That's a decent suggestion. Crime CCO says, Wonder Woman as a base pal. <laughs> I don't know. She's pretty busy. She's got a lot of stuff to do, you know, and not hang out in your base all day. Blazing Bacon says, I'd like to see a Booster Gold or Maxwell Lord base pet that we put into your league all that walks around and tries to sell, sell you on there. Uh, I think everybody wants more base pets of some kind, and yeah, cool dialogue would be neat. Definitely agree. Montesano has an item that he cannot delete in his inventory and has moved to his bank. Um, is it an item from the marketplace? Or what, what item is it? Really shouldn't be items that you can't consume that are also not deletable. So we should try to figure out how to fix those if you have the details. Mr. Chai City says, do you, have, do you all have other powers in mind? We just start focusing on water right now. Lara Bell says, are you familiar with the Mythic Plus system? If so, would you guys consider to implement that on DCO? I'm not familiar, but I can note it down. I'm sure my system's designers. Soul says, will we see more content tailored to support roles rather than DPS, FOS, Nexus, group splitting, interaction coordination mechanics? and or generally more content with mechanics demanding setups other than just one of each support role and the rest are DPS. Uh, actually, no. So to take that second part, right now our expectation is really an, an extremely good group, like quality players who know what they're doing. We expect them to be able to play the content with one of each role. Um, as far as content that requires support roles, that's definitely something we want, and that's definitely going to be aimed more at the elite versions of content. We want role play, uh, wrong word. We want playing roles to be super rewarding and for that to, to really shine when you have a great healer, or a great controller, or a great tank. Cosmic Gaming says, would you ever consider doing open world bosses that many people can fight without any queuing up? Yes. DSTDNT says, would we be able to purchase more armories, perhaps six per base, that way it would be from 16 to 24 max per tune and use more armories in the field. So um, that's a good question. Um, having more than one or more than four per base is on the, that seems more likely side uh, if the change can be made. Having more armories in the field, um, that gets more complicated just because you have to be able to access them, we have to be able to slot them in, and their UI changes there. So it's a lot goes into that, having extra things active for you there. Um, but it's a great suggestion. Both are great suggestions. Yeah. Would make the whole system much cooler. Jeffin says, layer themes are not deletable and can be claimed infinitely before you consume them. Oh, that sucks. I'll note that down.
Isif says, is the auto pot from test here to stay? Not necessarily. I mean, we're going to review all of the changes, but especially with a focus on, on power uh, when we get to the polish phase of the stature van. Nothing is guaranteed to make it to live. Time Tracker says, just wondering, will you ever make the style items in the time capsules more common than so extremely rare that they cost nine to 10 million on the broker? Nine or 10 million, is that it? Um, we are looking at time capsule adjustments. We want to make them even cooler, but I don't have anything to share about that. We really, we kind of, we do monitor how much things are selling for just for relative um, uh, like popularity information as like just one more data point, but it's not something to pay close attention to, and we do not care if the number gets high, right? That number is set by players in the economy. You have money, you should be able to spend it on um, whatever you want. So um, like we're not going to set any sort of price limits or Frank says, how successful are major events so far? Looking good on my end. The game's a lot busier, plenty of rewards to chase. Uh, so far, Star Wars is looking great. We've had tremendously positive feedback um, from players across the game, which is great, and also from players at the end game and members um, who seem to enjoy that bonus and seem to enjoy that that hard. So uh, we're, we're, we're pretty excited there. We're also pretty excited by just how much there's to do every day before you go on to the rest of the game. You know, there's a bunch of open world solos and then the, the different instances. Um, from our perspective, both the feedback and the numbers of just people participating is is out. One, one thing we measure is just, you know, of the people who logged into DCO today, how many of them participated in a certain and this this uh, this event is, is very high on that list um, compared to past events and past even content launches and stuff. So Joe says, any ideas of what the next major event will be? Yeah, we have the next major event planned. We know exactly what it's going to be. Thanks for asking. LQDCO says, we would like to see one or two more major events in 2017. Definitely one more. We've got it planned. Know exactly what. Urban Falls says, what happened to gear vendors having a dis gear display case instead of just a robot selling gear where you can't see the whole set like Jaxer? Uh, so the problem, well, the reason why I originally went away from having the display case is that, uh, well, one, it took a little bit of time to get set up in, in the game, but two, it was a performance hit on players running around. Um, they're essentially a whole other character um, that have to be what we call in irrelevancy or loaded for you because they're a thing in the world. So um, kind of eventually there's, there's too much uh, stuff there. We have to spread them out and it gets confusing. We put them all together and there's someone around you. You know, there's some solutions there, but generally speaking, it's problematic because we have so much gear. Um, but it's definitely something that we understand is very convenient to be able to see what you're buying uh, just visually and something that we do feel is important. Sadie B46 says, how rare is the flash emblem? Pretty rare. Crimes DCO says, have you guys thought about doing new emotes? Would you consider adding a civilian trinket? I'd like to lock around as a random citizen. I think maybe you requested that in previous weeks, uh, the, the random citizen trinket. Um, I don't really have that, because you can kind of just put on casual clothes, right? Um, but that might be fun. Um, as far as new emotes, we don't have any plans. We have any suggestions. Uh, they do technically take, take some performance hit, because we have to have them all loaded. Uh, animations and stuff, but it's not too big. So if you have suggestions that are cool, that's in theory. Wonder Wiccan would like a better way to get cross-faction styles, including from the ones from DLCs. Yeah, let me know that. that. Larbelt asks, can we have once a month a time travel old raid that grants whatever currency we have 
by that time at end game, it can work by clamping or escalating. Oh yeah, like go back and get currency. It's a great idea. We've talked about several different versions of that, but just haven't pulled the trigger on any of them. Don't have plans to right now, but it's a cool idea. I'm gonna note it down again. Will there be any appearance of Starro in the Age of Justice episode? Nope, it's gonna be totally separate from Starro, not, not related to that storyline really at all. Cape Crusader says, any thoughts or plans about a DCO2? No. Wonder Wiccan says, when it's the same thing as the Sons of Trigon DLC where the vendor is wearing the gear set, it's possible. Again, it's just one more thing loaded, so we have to figure out where it goes and how it works. So we don't have people chugging through on their PS4s and stuff. Cosmic Gaming has requested destructible environments, and it's really not something that was built into the core of our game. Um, super unlikely. Semper Fear says, when will the Star event return again? Uh, we don't have details on that now, um, but keep your eyes out. CDS 2005 would like rare items to be less rare in time capsules. Noted the feed. LQDCO is asking for Paradox Wave base items, maybe the pillars or statues, rock sculptures, and the Paradox boss. Oh, that's kind of cool. Jared says, so what weekend will you all be doing the special weekend things? Well, in weekends in the future, um, we'll be doing special weekend things. Keep your eyes peeled and follow us on Twitter. Stay stay logged into Discord. Sadie B46 says, is Test Center ever going to be on console or will that not be a thing? It is not feasible for us to put a test world on console based on how long it takes for them to um, publish. Soul says, in the stats ramp, you guys strive to make free play sales viable to play with hybrid weapons and PIFT. When you guys use the word viable, do you mean competitive with one another or viable to complete content? Oh, we definitely mean viable to complete content uh, as a baseline, um, but we also mean roughly competitive as well. Now, your meaning for competitive may not match with our meaning of competitive. Um, if you're opening up the scorecard and trying to figure out who won a certain fight, doesn't mean everybody's going to have the exact same number there. Um, but we want them all to be uh, pretty much the same. Seven Sins says, from the reminder, I love fighting among my favorite heroes and villains. Make sure you add more of those in the future. Add more of your favorite heroes and villains. Who you want? Jareth wants Paradox Wave Pets. That'd be cool. Any plans for more NPCs as base pets in the game? Yes. Parademons, demons from Trigon content, plant NPCs, Paradox Reapers, Brady Ant Robots, etc. I mean, none specifically that you mentioned, but like there's a new base pet in spring, which is in the test server. We are we are adding some more. Time Tracker, great question about uh, being able to chat with villains or interact with villains via chat. That is something that's come up several times over the years. I'm going to know. All right, we're going to wrap this up here. We're almost out of time. I'm going to lock the channel and then answer the last couple questions. Get your questions in now.
All right, channel lock. Green energy mace is not deletable. Okay, that's marketplace purchase. So you should. Oh, so some of you got two of them, huh? Okay, we'll look into that. Next, he says, "Can we get a mission where we have to save our own past self from time travel manipulation? Batman slash Lex or Brainiac decide that we'd be more successful if the player character didn't exist." That's cool. I like it. DST DNT says, "As there's a sale this weekend for Xbox." Will there be one for PC, PlayStation this weekend as well or next? No. Um, it's it, Xbox is doing a spring sale, so we're participating. It's, it's not really DCO specific. It's just all of Xbox. Also, you'd like to be able to change your body type with armories. Yeah, that's a cool, uh, it's a cool concept. Blazing Bacon says, is the Age of Justice DLC based on the JSA version volume three run or a different series? It is um, not based on JSA volume three, actually, at all. Uh, well, I could I could be wrong. It's, it's loosely based on a lot of different things, and we're going to be talking a lot more about that as we get closer to it um, and as we reveal more about it. So just stay tuned there. Any plans to make materials purchasable in the near, distant, near to distant future? It's nearly impossible to feed material now that the two time capsules have been released. We've definitely seen requests for that kind of thing. I don't have anything to share right now, but it's been. Seven says, just says, we want to fight more heroes and villains in content. Got it. All right. Thank you to everyone who showed up today. Uh, hopefully, you answered your questions. If not, hit me up here later. Hit me up on Twitter or hit me up on the forums or stop back next week for next week's uh, edition of Off. Goodbye.